What's up YouTube? My name is Kenny J, the insurance guru, and this is Kenny J TV. Welcome to another episode of Kenny J TV. It is Tuesday because Monday was Martin Luther King Jr. Day, so I closed down the office in you know honor of that. Where's my mouse? Jeez. Oh, get honor of that. So we're back to work today. I know I have a lot to do. Some things that I didn't do last week, which I talked about in the last video. So now I'm just starting up my systems. Been up since 4.30, went to the gym, all that good stuff, showered, and didn't really feel like putting on any clothes. So I just threw on the roll and said, hey, let's get it. So we are going to go through a few things and then go from there. So I have a lot to do today, um, but I feel like that's every day, right? So some updates. So first thing I need to do before anything is I have a thousand to do's in my phone, like on my calendar of what I need to do today. I know I have a call at uh, 2.30 p.m. with somebody that booked a call from YouTube. So I'm going to work on, let's see what I have to do first, policy payment. So I have a client that he said his payment was due, um, but he tried to, he got a new card or something. So I'm about to call my carrier to update the billing on that. I probably can just go to the portal actually. I'm just gonna go to the portal and move my thing around. I'm gonna go through the portal and um, update that. I'm gonna go update that really quick because he did email that over to me and then he reached out yesterday, but of course we were closed. So I'm gonna update that and make sure that his payment is good so his policy does not cancel. Calling the deal that I need to bind ASAP. I know she's looking to go ahead and get this before. So. I don't know why my phone makes that noise sometimes. But I need to figure out why it does that. How are you doing today? I'm doing Kenny Hall. I'm doing well. How was your weekend? Oh, it was good. Lots of showings, but it was good. Good. That's always a good thing. Wanted to follow up with you. Yeah, we were closed yesterday for MLK Day and all of that. So I wanted to reach out to you this morning to get everything finalized. Yes, sir. I sent you over. Um, I know it was late. Sorry about that. No, you're I fine. Get you that information. I'm gonna get everything finalized for you, and then I'll go ahead and um, shoot you an email with the document that I need signed. Um, and if you have any other questions before then, just feel free to reach back out. Just about that policy, it was an investor client. So I'm gonna first log it before I do anything, and. Put it there so I kind of know what's going on and then I need to send her one thing to Esad and then look at her due date and send her that as well. So she can notate that and her, whatever she needs to do. And uh, yeah, this is in the way of it. Uh, I don't want that right there. There we go. So first deal of the day before 10 a.m. So that's always a good thing on Tuesday. So going hard this week, excited for all the new clients I'm going to get this week. And we're going to work hard, we're going to get to it. Kenny from Remedy Insurance, how you doing today? I'm good, hold on, I'm going to go in the bathroom, hold on. Oh no, you're fine, you're fine, take your time. How was your weekend? My weekend was good, it was my birthday weekend. Oh, happy belated birthday, what'd you do for your birthday? Great news for you, so you know your renewal's coming up. It's been a year since we did your insurance and it actually decreased, the premium decreased. Um, about 20 something dollars for the year. So I just wanted to let you know that there's nothing that you need to do on your end for the insurance is going to renew automatically. But I love to, you know, just give the clients a call and let them know what to expect. But it's going to be automated just for my payment, right? Correct. Yes, ma'am. It'll be automatically okay. uh, drafted and everything. So it's nothing that you need to do on your end. All right. Well, I will right. talk to you soon. You have a good one. All right. Thank you. You're welcome. Bye. Bye. So that was a renewal that I just got off the phone with, a very sweet lady. One of my referral partners sent me her information a year ago, actually. Well, about a year ago next month. So it's really crazy how you know fast time flies and that residual income. So now I'm getting paid 
off of the policy again as if I just wrote it, but just wanted to go over her premium, any questions she had. She had a few questions about like coverages and things like that. So we were able to go over that and she's very happy with the service. I always recommend like following up with the clients, even at their renewal, even if they don't answer, call them, send them a message, let them know that you are reaching out about their renewal because you don't want their renewal to come, whether it increase, decrease, or stay the same. And it's like nobody reached out to them. You know what I mean? I still want to be able to touch every client. So that's like a big part of, you know, like what I do. Also, I just got a referral for health insurance. And so I'm going to do that. And then I have to find a auto policy. She already has the homeowner's insurance with me and she closed today. So I'm going to call her and congratulate her on that. And then we're going to do the auto because she wanted to bundle it together, of course, to save money. So I'm going to call her and then we'll first do the health insurance referral and then do the auto and then maybe lunch because I have a call at what, 2.30, I think, 2 or 2.30 and it's 12.30 now. So I want to make sure that I uh, have time to do everything. Exactly, exactly. So I, I'm, I'm blessed. I really am. I'm just happy that everything went off without a hitch and Amen. I'm good. All right, well, sounds like the plan then. Well, we'll talk soon. Have a good one. Okay, you too. Thank you, bye. All right, bye-bye. So that was my client that just closed on her house today and I need to write a reminder to send her a thank you card as well. Um, Cause she just closed on her house. And then she's getting her auto with me as well. I think I stated that earlier in the video. So I told her we can, you know, wait a few days cause I know she just closed and she's like running around. So I'm like, listen, if you want to wait a little bit, she still has to get her car registered in the state, the state that she moved to. So, Good day, so I'm excited for that. So I'm gonna set a follow up. I told her I'd reach out to her on Monday and today's Tuesday, just cause she said she'll reach out Thursday or Friday. So I'll give her some time to um, and do what she needs to do if she doesn't reach out. And of course I'll reach out and then I'll set the renewal as well for the homeowner's insurance since it is effective today. Of course, 365 days later, I'm gonna set the renewal. I usually don't set that until they actually close because closings get pushed back and all that good stuff. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Right now, I'm sending out a few messages regarding, I have three renewals that I'm working on right now and I did two earlier today. So just sending those out and uh, was talking on the phone with a few clients before then. It's a lot of admin work today, uh, but I'm grateful for all the renewals. I mean, that's like one of my favorite parts is just like doing the renewals and I have a broke of a record that I'm supposed to, um, supposed to, like solidify everything. So I'm going to do that afterwards as well. I will say with these renewals, I'm always like, it's been a year. Like when I tell you, these years be flying by y'all. Like flying, I can't believe it has been a year. Wow. So I'm about to step out and do the call. And he says, my partner and I are looking to open an insurance agency specifically in the commercial semi-truck niche. I have a PNC license and I will be the main person operating my agency. My partner will be the funding source and he as well has a lot or have a lot of connections that will lead our customers, that will lead to our customers, okay. I'm about to hop on this call. This should be fun, I'm excited for this. So I'm gonna hop on this call and then back to work I go. Maybe lunch, maybe lunch is next. I don't know. Happy Wednesday. I am getting started with working a little bit, but before I do all that, I need to record a reel. I'm trying to post more consistent on Instagram with like my reels and things like that. It brings me in a lot of business. So I forgot to record yesterday. I fell asleep before I could even do it. So I'm about to record a reel. And then after content, I'm gonna just get right into work. I have a few things to handle and I'm gonna go ahead and get to it. I didn't wake up at 4.30 today though because I had somebody come in to look at my fence from Lowe's to fix it. Guess what? They didn't come. So now I have to call Lowe's and that's on my to-do list today as if I don't already have enough going on. Literally speaking of them not coming, they literally just pulled up in my driveway. An hour late. Good morning, another day. I got the content done. Posted the reel up. Got my blanket. It's a good day. So what do I have going on today? A lot to say the least. 
Um, just checking my inbox, like literally just getting in. I talked to my assistant uh, yesterday after I stopped recording for the day, this realtor reached out to me from Instagram that I met at a networking event. She was like, hey, I'm having family and friends at my house this weekend. We're doing like some vision boards and I wanted to know, do you have any like material that I can pass out about the services that you offer, the different type of life insurances that you offer and things like that. I said, of course. So I'm having my assistant make like something catered to her and the services that I offer so she's able to pass out to her family and hopefully that'll translate to some deals. And I'm very grateful for that because she reached out to me about it. And that just goes to show like marketing on social media is so important. Like you just reach people you never thought you'd reach or even if you've met somebody and then they follow your page, they're constantly reminded that you are in the insurance industry from the content that you post. So that's always good. I also have a quote request for commercial insurance. And then someone from Instagram today messaged me for a quote for their auto insurance. So I'm gonna do that as well. And then regarding what I have to do today. Yeah, because I have a lot of overdue. I have 18 overdue tasks today. I only have 14 tasks. So I'm gonna knock all this out today. I have one one renewal two renewals today and then overdue i just have a lot of stuff to do i have to call to bind a policy as well as i have a few clients that's bills to do so i'm gonna work on all that as well and i'm gonna put my phone away after i do this first quote it's with uh like i said somebody from instagram so i'm gonna go in there and get the information but after that i'm putting my phone up because the phone can be a huge distraction and we're not letting that distract me today. And so many times when people get on the calls with me, they ask, how do I know what carrier to put certain people through? This guy doesn't have insurance right now and I know what carrier I'm automatically putting him through because of that. Um, they're always gonna have the best rates. But once you learn your carriers and what each one does or what each one specializes in, you kind of know without having to shop with the rate around who goes where and it saves you like a lot of time. So I got an email this morning also from one of my clients. Uh, two things he asked. One, uh, can I confirm where the payment is being drafted? So I'm gonna confirm that for him. And then his fiance is purchasing a property. Can we quote uh, for the condo insurance? And of course I can do that. And I'm gonna send him some information that I need back. So I'm gonna go ahead and work on that for him now. So my client got back to me with the information for his fiance's quotes for H06, so I'm gonna go ahead and start working on that now as well. And so I'm able to present something back to them ASAP. So I received a referral and I need to call them to see what type of insurance they need. <clears throat> Give them a call. I need to go to lunch soon. I took like a 20 minute break, but I'm starving. Once I eat though, I get very, very sleepy. And I'm like, honestly, I don't even wanna do no work no more. So I'm going to call them and see what's going on. I think they need life insurance. And it's a couple, so. Cool, leave the voicemail. I will create an account for them in my CRM and send them a text as well saying, hey, you referred to me, looking for some life insurance. I'll go from there. Also, tomorrow, which is Thursday, is my best friend's birthday, so I don't know what I'm doing for his birthday, I know that we are, I'm taking him out somewhere tomorrow, um, but I don't know where, like, he likes to eat and drink, so like, maybe like a bar that has like a nice restaurant attached or something, I'm thinking about that, and then he wants to, um, I gotta go get a gift as well. Oddly enough, he said he wanted to start sewing, so. I mean, honestly, if he starts making clothes, that would be perfect. But so I'm gonna go try to find a sewing machine today. I don't even know where to 
go for that. So I'm gonna go to a few stores and see if I can find one today, get some wrapping paper and all that good stuff. So I didn't do that before this evening. And then get my plans together, like make a reservation somewhere and see if he's like inviting anybody else. So yeah, that's after work plans. One, four, four, seven. Thank you and have a great one. So that was a referral from, I'll tell the others I said that, but my favorite referral partner, um, Ebony, she's a mortgage lender and she just sent me a deal that's closing on the 31st of this month. So I just reached out to her, didn't get a response. So I am gonna text her as well and shoot her an email cause she did like put us both in the email together. So I'm gonna work on that and then like finish up some tasks for the day and then I need to head out to do a little shopping as well so good day and i need to do some content but we gonna see if not today then tomorrow morning for sure like i did today i kind of like how i did that before i started the day like kind of make that a routine but i don't want to rely on recording a reel like a few hours before i actually post it so good morning it's thursday uh on the phone with um, one of my carriers and the client they had some issues that I didn't really it was more like a technical thing so they're on the phone now with that and I just got a referral from a state farm for a beachfront property in South okay. Carolina I'm gonna go ahead and do that while I'm on the phone with them I will say January is historically January is historically slow for businesses uh, for me, it's been busy, but it's just more so it's a lot of stuff in the pipeline. Like, it's not, I haven't closed like a billion deals. I mean, I've closed deals, of course, but it's more so like everybody wants a quote and they're going to follow up next month and things like that. So that can be, I'm not going to say frustrating, but just keep that in mind during certain months when it is a little slower take that time to do you like what you need to do for your business and things like that also i got a, another referral somebody reached out regarding auto insurance i tried to quote her a while back she ended up going with another carrier somebody else another agent now she's saying she doesn't want to be with that agent so i'm going to get the specifics on that and hopefully i can go ahead and close that deal that would be really nice as well one thing that i definitely think that takes away from my day or takes a lot of time is service work. Thank you for your continued patience. Um, and just being on hold and it just takes up a lot of time. I've already been on hold for six minutes. Sometimes, most of the time, they're really quick. And then sometimes it's just like and waiting and waiting. And I'm just like, golly. I need a service person like now. Like now. Thank you for calling. Also, I try to do, like I said, service tasks, but whenever a lead comes in, I always work on that first. Um, so I just got the information for the referral for the mortgage lender. My referral partner, she sent all the information over, so I'm gonna go ahead and quote this now and go ahead and send this back to her. And then I may have to use the Raider to see how this looks. And then send that over, cause I know she said, let me pull it up. Cause I like working with lenders cause they can tell me like, we need to try to keep the policy or the quote around like $90 a month. So it kind of helps me. So I know like, okay, this is a competitive quote for them, for what they need in order to close. I just finished quoting the client for her homeowner's insurance. It's looking like I'm gonna to have to put it through the Raider and usually it takes about 24 hours to get back, but I always tell them it takes around two business days just so I don't over promise and under deliver. So I always say that and um, she's cool with it because I always set that expectation. Closing isn't until what, like 12 days away. So we'll definitely have it before then. And then I'm working directly with the lender as well. So I can send that over. But I think that one of my carriers with my Raiders gonna have the best quote. And it's gonna come under what they actually need it to be, like the premium, which will be really good for her, so she'll be able to save some money. 
So remember I was telling you all that a realtor reached out to me. She's having some family and friends over for a game night or some type of night. They're doing vision boards and things on Saturday. And she's like, listen, like I'm putting together this binder and I want your information in there. A lot of them are looking for life insurance and other insurances. So we would love to have your information. I'm like, cool. So then I was asking her what really did she want? She was kind of explaining just like showing your services. So I had my assistant make he made this flyer, which is really dope, and it has all the services we have. And so, I was like, yeah, this is perfect. I sent it to her for approval to make sure there was nothing missing, because I want to make sure that she's able to truly benefit and the people are able to benefit. So he just emailed that to me, so now I'm going to forward that to her and let her know that I am sending that. My weeks never look the same, ever. Like, I mean, I'm usually sitting behind a desk or on the couch working, but besides that, like, it's always new things that hit my table, and I need to get outside tomorrow to market a little bit for the networking event, and I actually, I don't even know for real. I hope I can, though. So, it took a little break from work. I am, I got a direct appointment with Allstate, so I'm filling out this information they sent to me, like, all the information they need to go ahead and get me appointed. So, like, going on Do Not Disturb for a little bit and handling that. Very excited to continue to get all of these direct appointments. It makes my book of business more valuable and makes me more competitive. So, 2023, we up. Happy Friday. It is Friday, my favorite day of the week. I did not go to the gym today. What else did I not do today? I didn't eat breakfast yet. It's like 10 o'clock. I'm about to do all of that. I don't know. I don't know if I'm recording the rest of the day, but I think I am. What do I have to do today? I just found a policy for a candle shop. They're opening up February 2nd and they have a physical location. One of my clients that got her homeowner's insurance, she wants to get her auto and bundle it together. So we're making that in effect next week. And it's one more thing I have, one more policy. I can't remember the third policy. But then I have to write out these thank you cards, which I'll probably record doing that and send them off to my clients that have done business with me so far, just holding myself accountable because I didn't do it last week. So I need to do it now so I don't forget or get too behind. I have a light Friday, but I'm gonna go ahead and handle this stuff so I can enjoy the weekend. I may work tomorrow just to get caught up on some admin things because during the week I'm going, 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 and it's like so much admin stuff has to be done. So I may work tomorrow since my weekend doesn't look too busy. What's up everybody? It is Sunday going into the next week. I'm about to, don't even ask. I'm about to get started on of course this week, what I have planned, but I totally forgot to do my outro because I was supposed to work on Saturday with some friends and ended up not doing that. So if you've made it this far in the video, drop some blue hearts in the comment section below. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe, and let me know how you are liking these type of videos. Again, my name is Kenny J, the insurance guru, and this is Kenny J TV.